welcome back to the channel glad to have you here in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you three profitable amazon kdp keywords that are low competition high demand and if you're interested in amazon kdp tips and tricks and strategies to make passive income online as well as daily amazon kdp keywords that are carefully researched go ahead and subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon in order to be uh, staying uh, in tune with all our daily videos now let's get started with the first amazon kdp profitable keyword and i'm using a total of four free chrome extensions to analyze the profitability i have discussed these chrome extensions in depth in a previous video that i did it will be linked in the description box below as well as pinned in the comment section below this video now let's go ahead and talk about the first of the three Chrome extensions. And the first of the keywords is amazing. It has amazing data to it by both of the main Chrome extensions that I'm using. The keyword is shadow work healing journal prompts men. And it has a keyword niche score of 85, super high by Titan's quick view Chrome extension, as well as a keyword niche score of number nine, clarifying the profitability and the strength of this wonderful keyword right here by Amazon Scout Pro Chrome extension, which you can see right at the bottom uh, over here, the bottom uh, corner, number nine, categorizing this keyword as a great niche. Now let's head over to the total results and we have the total results sitting at 304, less than 1000, which is ideal. Also, the average bestseller rank is currently sitting under 400,000, which is great to see. And it is averaging 300. 187,563 and the average reviews are 240. The average price is $14.50. So what you're doing here, you're creating a journal that contains prompts and it is targeted for men. It's to do with healing in that healing theme and it's to do specifically with shadow work. So I highly recommend for you to familiarize yourself with the concept of shadow work, what it is, so you'll be able to guide these wonderful men with the shadow work therapy and really kind of healing the inner self maybe the you know inner child if you're not familiar with any of these concepts uh, please go ahead and research them there is many useful youtube uh, videos out there uh, that uh, contain information to help guide you on what are these um concepts and what are these healing methods as well so you're creating that journal prompt for men not yet um uh, clear what age group these men are are they young men are they senior men are they um uh older men or are they men that belong to a certain category of career for example this is for you to dive in if you would like to dive in even further and niche down as well you can niche down according to the category of the age group whether you want it to be for younger men senior men um, men that are you know students men that are um whatever it is you know the career uh, category that they belong to and if you see that acceptable and if you see that uh, something that you could dive in and offer specific shadow work healing prompts for these men under these categories then highly recommend you niche down and create that sub niche as well so let's go ahead and and familiarize your ourself with shadow work what it is and you know what are some examples of some uh, some of the journal prompts. So shadow work basically gives you better clarity on how your thoughts, emotions, and feelings lead you to act the way you do. So what does it mean to do shadow work? It's basically working with your unconscious mind to uncover the parts of yourself that you repress and that you hide from yourself. And what is an example of shadow work? It's basically the shadow that grows every time you repress a feeling every time you go through a traumatic experience and stuff and let's have a look at some of the examples of some of the questions now what are the values you will brought up with what things do you notice or trigger your body to sense tense up how do your friends and family describe you so just basically questions to do with our un un uncovering our unconscious mind um maybe a little bit of a trigger warning here and there as well you might also want to add a disclaimer uh, to say that this journal is not for medical 
purposes it's not for therapy purposes as in like professional therapy it's more to do for educational purposes only and also maybe an introduction to shadow work and intro a a page dedicated to how to use this journal properly uh, and that kind of thing to really help guide these men to do their shadow work healing uh, process and and to help to guide them for better uh, growth and self-awareness as well so this was the first keyword in today's video and just as before we head over to the second keyword i'm going to go ahead and head over to creative fabrica which is my go-to when it comes to kdp interiors as well as the graphics and i'm going to go and dive in to see is there any interiors under shadow work the keyword shadow work and we're going to have a look now you don't want to use these interiors as is you always want to download them upload them to whatever software you're using i use canva pro and i upload as a pdf and then you want to change them around you want to change the the font you want to change the writing rephrase some things change some elements add in different border add in how to use page uh, the main maybe a page numbers as well if you find that necessary so we're going to go ahead and we are going to filter according to the kdp interiors if it's unfortunately it's not available for us the kdp interiors yes yes it's right over here kdp interiors there is a total of 30 kdp interiors if you want you can go ahead and even filter them out and expand to print templates and you have a total of 521 results now i want specifically for men if there's any shadow work for men let's see what comes up unfortunately there's not yet any shadow work for men interiors which is a great idea if you are uh, selling also on creative fabrica selling and making kdp interiors you could also have uh make your own kdp interior for shadow work for men and upload it it will be very very popular especially after this video as well because of the profitability metrics in, un, uh, for this keyword that are clarified by both chrome extensions so let's have a, have a look at the second keyword in today's video and the second keyword is also shadow work diary prompts shadow work diary prompts has a total results of 633 which is amazing under 300,000. the average bestseller rank is a little bit high sitting at an average of 650,976. the average reviews are 230 uh, and the uh, keyword niche score given by uh, amazon's cat pro is number nine which is quite high and i'm quite happy with that and it beautifully complements the data that we have right here now unfortunately uh, Triton Squiffy gave it a keyword new score of zero. So then again, I leave the choice up to you whether you would decide to embark on this wonderful um, keyword right over here. And it is much more wider than the previous keyword because it's basically shadow work diary prompts. Now you can go ahead and niche down even further by creating shadow work diary prompts for men, for women, for kids, for teenagers, for preteens, for maybe teenagers with anxiety, teenagers with OCD, with ADHD, with autism, all that kind of stuff you can be able to dive in. So I'm not going to go ahead and ignore this um, keyword because I feel like the metrics here are great um if you don't feel comfortable with the fact that titan squiffy has not given this a keyword niche score then you have a wonderful keyword niche score by amazon's cat pro also you can go ahead and use this keyword right over here and include it in either the um, subtitle in whatever uh, book that you're doing that has to do with shadow work that has to do with self-healing self-awareness self-care as well you can include that in either the subtitle or as part of the seven keyword slots then you could get your book ranking under this keyword right over here now this is a fabulous uh, foundation for you to dive in even further and sub niche you've got this one main keyword to focus on and then you can sub niche with whatever it is that that you're comfortable with as well so let's have a look at the third keyword for today's video and the third keyword is how to draw 101 cute stuff for kids and this is a fabulous keyword all the metrics here indicate profitability first of all we have a keyword new score of 50 by self-publishing titans chrome extension which is great to see and we have a keyword new score of number six by amazon scout pro which beautifully complements the 50 given by uh, titans 
Jones uh, Chrome extension and number six right over here categorizing this keyword as a nice niche. Let's come on down to the total results. We have the total results at 227. The average bestseller rank is around that 500,000, which is still good to see. It's not perfect, um, but it is something that we can work with and it is around that 500,000 mark, which I'm personally happy with, with the results that we have right now. This is a extremely competitive niche. The drawing uh, workbook for kids is an extremely competitive uh, and saturated niche. So to come across a keyword with these kind of data, the total results under 1,000 uh, and the average bestseller rank in between that 500,000 mark is amazing. And I'm really happy to share this with you. Highly recommend to take uh, for you to, to uh, dive into this niche and even niche down even further if you would like to break through that high bestseller rank. So if you're uncomfortable with this bestseller rank being in the 500,000s and you would like to really cut through that, you can go ahead and sub niche. For example, here, what you're doing, you're creating a workbook or basically a uh, activity book that teaches children how to draw and it contains a 101 cute stuff. So preferably 101, 102 pages um, and it's going to be an 8.5 times 11 inches. So it would be a large print to provide a lot of space for children to doodle, to, for children to draw. You can go ahead and sub niche, uh, whether you want it to be specifically for girls, when it, whether you want it to be for boys, whether you want it to be for uh, children in a specific uh, age group, four to eight, six to, to uh, eight, uh, 10 to 12, for example, and you could also niche down according to the animal or the theme. Is it unicorn? Is it fairies? Is it dinosaurs? Is it cars and trucks? These kind of things would really, really help you. And if you do currently have any sort of how to draw activity book, how to draw coloring book in your portfolio, in your Amazon KDB portfolio, go in there and add this keyword as part of the seven keyword slots to get your book ranking for this keyword and showing up as well just right now. This is amazing. A lot of people are purchasing how to draw for kids, especially come to Q4 and the Halloween and the Christmas uh, season as well. There will be a lot of people buying gifts. Uh, so utilize this wonderful keyword right here. And if you do want to have a look at specific interiors, you can go ahead and have a look at Creative Fabrica and say how to draw, draw cute stuff, just how to draw cute stuff. And then if you're not happy with the interiors or the number or the quality, you can go ahead and uh, also uh, write how to draw cute. And then here you have cute animals, cute things, cute stuff for kids everywhere, cute animals. This is an activity book as well. So let's have a look at these ones. For example, this is a keywords. This is 390 keywords just for the how to draw uh, cute things for kids keywords as well. This one is how to draw cute stuff. So let's just click on one of these. So this is a total of 109 pages and they're using exactly the same keyword that we have outlined right now, which is how to draw 101 cute stuff for kids. And it is also available for free, which is a, another bonus goodie and a nice surprise as well. Now bear in mind, 798 people have added this to the favorites and it's not yet clear how many people have actually downloaded and uploaded this to Amazon KDP. So you always want to change things around once you've downloaded an interior, especially when the interior is free because there's a lot of people going in there and a lot of people um, being um, uh, adding it to their books and adding it to their portfolio. So uh, bear in mind that this is an 8.5 times 11 inches large print, exactly how we want it. And it's suitable for boys, girls, ages 4 to 8, 8 to 12. And it contains 101 cute illustrations as outlined step by step. So how can you change the ra this around? You can go ahead and add, take away that border. Let's try to see if we are able to have a look at a larger size. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. You can go ahead and change the border, change the type of font used, the type of the banner. Also, you can add in a little box right over here, maybe in the corner at the bottom corner. And, um, you know, for example, penguin, uh, you can add in a fun fact 
you know, a sentence, a simple sentence or two, a fun fact about a penguin, fun fact about aloe vera, fun fact or, you know, anything funny or anything, you know, uh, educational uh, about these things that are being drawn. And then you add in the extra value right over here as well. And that would be amazing. You can also go ahead and add in some doodle pages surrounded by some, fun, uh, you know, cute elements of animals or plants to do, to leave space for these little children to doodle, to draw, to write uh, in whatever way they feel comfortable with. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Just as a quick summary, the keywords that we talked about was shadow work, healing journal prompts for uh, men, shadow work, healing journal prompts men with a keyword new score of 85. This is a fabulous, fabulous uh, keyword. It's one that um, uh, you rarely come through, so I'm happy to share that with you today. The second one was Shadow Work Diary Prompts with a keyword new score of number nine, total results under 1,000. And we have How to Draw 101 Cute Stuff for Kids with a keyword new score of 50 and a total results of 227. I wish you all the best. If you have enjoyed today's video, like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.